Hi, my name's Scott, and today we're going to be talking about the Haltech TCA thermocouple amplifier. Now, the thermocouple amplifier is used to plug straight into the Haltech ECU via the CAN port and measure temperatures from 0 degrees Celsius all the way up to around 1100 Celsius. The Haltech thermocouple amplifier is available in two and four channels. It's connected to the Haltech ECU via our 8-pin CAN plug, straight in the back, the other end which plugs straight into your ECU, then we have these four mini K-type thermocouple connectors which your thermocouples plug straight into. So it's nice and simple to connect. The Haltech thermocouple amplifier is supplied with either two or four K-type thermocouples. These thermocouples are supplied with the mini K-type thermocouple connector which simply plugs straight into the back of the thermocouple amplifier. And the length can be supplied with whatever you like up to about two and a half metres. The sensor is an open tip style thermocouple. Uh, it's supplied with either a weld on or a screw in style fitting, which is used to measure whatever temperature you like. The sensor can be used for measuring simple things like exhaust gas temperature or oil temperature, uh, manifold temperature, uh, turbine temperature, whatever you'd like to measure. Now that we know what the thermocouple amplifier box does, Let's have a bit of a look at our test engine and see where we've got some sensors mounted and see what sort of temperatures we get out of it. So here we are with our 2JZ test engine. We've in fitted individual EGTs to this engine for the purpose of measuring the engine, doing a bit of engine tuning, uh, and to set up our dash display so we can actually see the individual cylinder temperatures. Now, you'll notice that we've got six exhaust gas temperature sensors. Each have fitted an equal distance from the exhaust header to the sensor as well as they're fitted halfway into the exhaust manifold because this is a naturally aspirated engine. We've welded the exhaust gas temperature weldons onto the exhaust manifold on this engine so that we can fit our exhaust gas temperature sensor straight into each cylinder. So because this is a naturally aspirated engine, we're putting the exhaust gas sensor roughly in the middle of the exhaust header so that it'll bolt up somewhere around here. If this was a boosted engine, uh, nitrous powered, methanol powered, uh, turbo or supercharged, we'd be wanting to put the exhaust gas sensor on the outer quarter of the exhaust header so that the sensor would end up being mounted much further out, something like this. We've followed the thermocouple amplifier plugs down into our two thermocouple amplifiers that are mounted on our test engine. You'll notice that we actually have two four channel amplifiers here. Now that's providing us with eight thermocouple amplifier channels. Six of these channels are being used to measure the exhaust gases, while there's two more channels here that have been used, one of them for fuel temperature, the other for oil temperature. Now that we've connected our thermocouple amplifier boxes into our Haltech ECU, we've also connected our race pack logging dash. Now we're going to turn in our race pack display dash, toggle through our display menu, and have a look at what our EGTs are displaying. Exhaust gas temperature sensor one, two, and three are all reporting 15 degrees. Exhaust gas temperature four, five, and six, 16, 15, and 15. Okay, now we'll start the engine. So we've just started our 2JZ engine. We can see that exhaust gas temperature one, two, and three from a dead cold start are all within about 10 degrees Celsius of each other. So that's really good. We'll get to the second set of EGTs, all displaying 229 to 245, say, so within about 15 degrees Celsius. So that's telling me that each cylinder is, is a healthy cylinder, each injector is, uh, is flowing exactly the same. So we know that this engine is ready to tune and we're not going to have any problems. Now that the coolant temperature is coming up a little bit, we'll notice that all of our EGTs have warmed up. Each cylinder is plus or minus about 10 degrees Celsius. So that's telling us that each injector in this engine is flowing the same amount, the engine's nice and healthy, and you're now ready to get on the dyno and give the engine a tune. So once your engine's fitted with exhaust gas temperature sensors, we can then monitor the engine to make sure that we're not gonna end up with an injector fouling problem, a spark plug out, uh, an ignition breakdown problem, resulting in the engine favoring a few cylinders over another, in result stressing that one cylinder and potentially breaking it. So, after we give the engine a good run, or we've been out on the racetrack, we can always come back, make sure that all the temperatures have been displaying the same thing, thus knowing that the engine's happy and healthy and avoiding any costly engine damage later on. 
Exhaust gas temperature sensors are typically used in racing environments where the engine's highly strung and any small amount of deviation in fuel or ignition could result in a big engine problem. So something like this set up on your race car can certainly help to diagnose an ignition or a fueling problem early to avoid costly engine damage. That's all we have time for today. Thanks for watching. To keep up to date with all our technical videos, don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. If you have any topics you would like covered in the future videos, leave it in the comments below.